ever heard of a game jam? It's not a sweet spread for your toast made out of games. I sure learned that the hard way. A game jam, or hackathon, is when teams of developers come together to create a game in just a short span of time. Today, I'm here at a pretty special game jam because it just so happens to be Australia's first all-girl hackathon. She hacks games. Let's get jamming. Hack a mainframe. Game jams are held all over the world for emerging and experienced developers alike. I'm catching up with Lisey Kane of Girl Geek Academy to find out what makes this one unique. Why did you guys choose to put on an all-girl game jam? Girl Geek Academy has definitely started because we've seen a huge gap, not just within games, but all the technology sectors. So what we wanted to do is basically figure out how to get more women and girls building games, starting websites, starting companies. Why is it important to get more girls into the industry? At the moment, in Australia especially, we're actually at 19% representation for non-males making games, which is, as far as I'm concerned, not good, considering 50% of women are playing games. And what are you hoping that people will walk away with from this event? I think they'll walk away with a relatively broken game. Like, I don't <laughs> expect them to have a finished product, but I think they'll walk away with a sense of accomplishment, and they can go, I made that. I put that sprite in or I programmed that AI to do this. They'll have something that they learnt and also I'm really hoping they've walked away with some new friends. There are 14 teams here at the Jam and they're each making a game in just two days. Let's go meet one of them. Hello, what's your team called? Hi, uh, we're team Everything Will Be Fine. Will everything be fine? Yes. Like <laughs> 100%. And what are you guys working on? Uh, so we're working on a project about collecting dogs as your dog walker, walking around this town and finding different dogs and basically having them all follow you. That sounds like my kind of game. What are some of the challenges you've faced in making your game? Well, we've got a very short amount of time and we had, you can see here, we've had like a lot of ideas about what we wanted to do. And as we start to, you know, narrow down the theme, narrow down the kinds of um, mechanics and outcomes we want for the game, we've had to kind of converge our ideas. We've also all sort of swapped roles from what we normally do. So we're all sort of teaching each other things and learning along the way. So I've got a dog at home named Boatmeal, whom I love. Do you think you could put him in the game? Yeah, absolutely, I can do that. He is a little sausage prince, yes. <laughs> Creating a game in just a weekend, including a digital Boatmeal, seems like a real challenge. But the teams aren't in it alone. They have the support of industry mentors to help them through. Why did you decide to be a mentor for She Hacks Games? Because it's important to get more women into games and into the industry. She just women realise that it's fun to make games. They realise they can make games. But like, not just from a content perspective. I've seen people who've never used an engine before sit here and Google how to make games and have just put together a game from scratch, having never done it before. So it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. So we've got programmers, designers, artists and mentors. But what about the next generation? Well, they're here too. Another part of She Hacks Games is a pop-up workshop for high school girls. Hello. So you did the <laughs> workshop today. What was involved? What was involved is that we first started off with a tour of the game studio. Then we partook in a game mechanics course where we started learning about game mechanics and how they work. So do you think that you want to make games as a career in the future? Yeah, possibly. Like, I would like to be a game software engineer, maybe. I absolutely love coding and stuff like that. Whenever I do it, I thrive with it. It's really my passion and is something that I do want to dive into and do. And what was your experience of getting to do this workshop with just a bunch of other girls? You get to learn that you're not the only one, because if you're in like certain school environments, it might seem like you're the only one interested. But going to these events tells you that there's hundreds of other girls who want to be in this industry just as much as you do and have the same passion, same love for video games. I look forward to playing all the games that you guys are going to create in the coming years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Game Jam teams are approaching the finish line. It's crunch time. I need you to copy faster. Sorry, I need you. <laughs> OK, everyone, time's up! Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, so you're all finished now. How did you go? We made a game. Yes. We did yes. make a game. It runs. And uh, how do you guys feel about the experience? There were a lot of ups and downs, yeah. uh, mostly unexpected things happening that were very hilarious. Well, I think humour plays a big part of it, right? So we just get like hysterically funny during moments of terrifying stress. So I think that sums up Game Jam. Can I have a play? 
Sure. sure. Yeah. It's amazing to see what's been achieved in such a short amount of time. And to see Boatmill's video game debut. So it's all done and dusted, and we're having a play party now, so everyone's going around and playing the different games that have been made. What's some of the cool things you've seen? Even though the games are very small, obviously it's a game jam, people have created pretty polished things. They've really nailed the idea of creating a small snippet of a game. And everyone seems to have had a really good time, which is awesome. Game jams are such an interesting part of the industry, and before I got here I didn't really know what to expect, but it's really cool to see how they give people an opportunity to try new things, and also the sense of community that's there. And it's even better when they're encouraging girls to get involved. Plus, there's cupcakes.